Welcome to Pharmacology by Lecturio. My name is Praveen Shukla, and I will guide you through respiratory pharmacology. When we talk about drugs used in asthma, we have lots of choices. We have the bronchodilators such as the beta agonists, the methyl xanthines, and the muscarinic antagonists. We also have a choice of a number of anti-inflammatory agents, including release inhibitors, slow anti-inflammatory drugs, antibody-based therapies, and of course, steroids. And finally, we have the new class of drugs called the leukotriene antagonists. They can be lipooxygenase inhibitors, or they can be receptor inhibitors. These drug uh, classes represent the entire armamentarium in asthma, and we're gonna go over each of them in turn. Before we do, though, let's start off with principles of therapy behind asthma treatment. An inflamed airway has thick airways, and the airway itself is narrow. So when you take a look at a normal airway down here, you can see that the walls are not thick, and the walls are wide and open. When you took a, take a look at a constricted airway, you can see that the walls are still the same thickness, but the entire diameter of the airway has narrowed, resulting in a narrower uh, lumen. When you take a look at an inflamed airway, even though the walls have not constricted in, the walls themselves are thicker, so you end up with a narrower airway. And finally, in you know, end-stage asthma, you will have a constricted and inflamed airway, which results in a very narrow lumen and real illness from a clinical point of view. So inflamed airways, the walls are thick, airways narrow. A constricted airway, the walls are closed in and the airway is narrow. Now treatment involves two types of therapy. You can bronchodilate or you can a give anti-inflammatories to reduce thickness, or you can do both.